Sports. Thank you so much. Much he love says, to you, Isaiah. Appreciate you, Doc. He says, Lonzo, Dusty, what's up? Why did Easy and Dre break up? Money. It's always money, man. When they first formed, when they first formed Ruthless, they were supposed to be all partners. And once the money started coming in, everybody, the partners went out the, went out the window. Everybody became employees. My, what I was told at one point in time, uh, they paid Dre like hundred thousand dollars to do four, five albums or something like that. I heard. I'm not sure. That's allegedly these people have been paid a uh, hundred thousand dollars to do five albums, which is actually like what twenty thousand dollars an album or something like that. And um, hundred grand sounds like a lot of money if you ain't ever had no money before. But once you start talking to people in the business and you, they realize you got skills, then they're like, oh shit, I got screwed. And now I own the publishing. I ain't got this. I ain't got that. So as you know, and that's the part about the game that so many people take for granted, especially when you're doing the, doing homie business. Uh, you assume that homie gonna be fair, okay? You assume that. And most of the time, in most cases, that's not the case. We got someone checking in from Zurich. Is that a German? Yeah, Zurich. That's the only one I know of. Nice, nice. What up, Watt Superhero? Thanks for checking in, man. What time is it down over there in Germany? I'm curious. Marlon, cozy. Much love to you, Doc. Thank you. Thank you. Good looking out, dude. Marlon, really, really appreciate that, man. Switzerland, that's what it is. Switzerland. Okay. Yeah. You've done done Europe, right? Or was it England that you did? I just did England. I have I have been my passport. I got a brand new passport. They got NAS stamp on it. <laughs> hey, as soon as I bought the I got the damn stamp uh stamp COVID uh I mean they got the passport, COVID shut down all travel. And I'm so glad. <laughs> I'm glad I got I'm glad I got I was stuck over here and not over there. Not over there, yeah, yeah, real time. Um, you know what, to the best of your knowledge, what was uh, the relationship like between Easy and Jerry at the time of Easy's death passing? They had broke up, man. They had split up. They had split up, and it was uh, they was uh, it was at kind of at odds, man. Um, Easy allegedly had found out Jerry was spending some money on some things he wasn't supposed to be spending it all, and uh, Easy was pissed. It's because now you feel stupid, okay? Now you feel stupid, and um, and I, cause I went to the office, and he was Jerry was no longer there, and it was a big deal, and uh, you know that's why when Easy passed, all the suspicions start coming around. You know, he might have done this. I think he did this. Nobody knew nothing. I mean, you know, he had so many different things going on at the time between Jerry and Dre and Suge. Nobody. Then you got, then you, all of a sudden you get married. It's the last minute. Come on, man. Nobody knew nothing. It was it was too many. It was like a major who done it. And here we are 27 years later, and we still don't know who done it. Mm. They, they say what may have done it. Nobody, nobody, nobody respects the fact that that is supposed to be the cause of death. Nobody, because it was too many, too many uh, things happened in that situation, that short period of time. No, no autopsy, my man got married on his deathbed, no autopsy, folks started claiming money. He just, he just, he just went in the hospital, never came out, come on, man. I hope, I hope one day we get the truth about that, because it's just too fishy. Uh, yeah, that's true, too. I'm gonna leave it like we'll Stop talking right here. Man, real talk. You know what? Um, let's go back to Easy and NWA. You know, recording. Let's say Boys in the Hood, which they recorded right there where you're sitting, pretty much in that same vicinity. But um, in hindsight, NWA seemed like, from a fan perspective, seemed like a meteoric rise. Like one one day they were here and they just blew the hell up. But obviously, you were there before they the fame and and after the fame. But you know what? Did it seem like a meteoric rise to you, or was it like a slow progress? You know, uh, for me, it might be a little different than most people because when they first came out, Turn Up the Lights was the shit. We were, I was the big dog. So Jerry, by him being managing all of us, he'd have us all going on shows together. Me, um, uh, NW, EZE and NWA, Just Ice, Ice-T, and record, World Class Wrecking Crew is, is, is the headliner. So people came to see us and... They wasn't getting the responses they that they were used to with world class record crew, and it didn't really you know it didn't really jump off as 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 um, as fast as they thought it was. 